Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Hello, Veronica. Are you there? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Everything okay? Nice. Nice, okay. That, 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 that's good to know. Um, here we have also Diana that she's preparing right now. Se está preparando. Right, Hi. Diana. Hello, uh, Diana. I think we have. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Creo que el good internet evening. está un poquito lento, Dianita. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Ah, we see. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. How are you, Dianita? Um, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's the attitude. Thanks. Merci. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Normal. Normal. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. The same. Same for me. A normal day. Okay. So here we have a sport girl. That is Andrea. Ya no es deportiva. Hello, Andreita. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo uh, very busy. Very busy. Okay. Yes. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Tomorrow, okay. Friday, then Saturday, and you are going to have rest on Sunday, right? ¿Cómo se dice? Casi. Almost. Almost Saturday. Almost Saturday. But you... Um, you finish your work hours at five, right? Yes. Okay. At five. And then party. Uh, um, sleepy? Okay, sleep. It's going to sleep. <laughs> Sleeping party. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. And, but you can go out. Do you usually go out? No. Yes. So, so. You should. You're no, young. I prefer um, descansar. Rest, rest. Rest. You prefer, I prefer rest. Okay, mm -hmm. rest. Right. You prefer resting, okay, or to rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like that too. Okay, we have my friend Marlon. He looks very casual, very kind of formal. Hello, Marlon. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good, evening. Uh, good, good. How are you with the audio? Everything okay? Very to say, uh, it's uh, some problems with the cell phone, but uh, sometimes I can I can use it. Okay, the same problem. Tiene su maña el celular. Sí, I imagino. Yes, I can imagine. Okay, okay. But I'm going to revise it. Okay. 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 I'm going to ask you in advance. Te voy a preguntar como con anticipación para que, okay, for you to 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 have it like very very relaxed. Para no okay. 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 Good, thanks. Okay. We have Carito. Hello, Caro Line. Nah. Hello, hey. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? More or less. More or less. Okay. Thursday, almost Saturday. Well, almost tomorrow, Friday, then Saturday, then party with Andrea. Right? <laughs> Andrea is, is going to go to a disco. Okay. So, yes. It's great. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, and Diego, hello. The man without cap. Uh, hi, teacher. Hello, how, how are you was doing? Well, I had a normal day. I don't know. I don't know you. I I had a I've been busy, but okay. Okay. Do you rest on Saturday? Yes. Oh wow, that's fine. Saturday so and Sunday. Okay, good for you. So just tomorrow and then. You are free, right? Yeah. Okay. I will be free for two yes. days. Okay. At least, at least two days. Okay. Um. Okay. There is. Uh, I want to. Well, I'm going to ask you something that, that is quite easy. Meanwhile, uh, the others um, connect. How how do you remember your future events? Do you use your cell phone because we have some reminders? Do you use the calendar? Do you use an agenda? Or do you ask to some friends or colleagues to remind you? Mm -hmm. Utilizan el celular, agenda, or by memory, o le dicen a alguien que le recuerde. 
How do you remember things? Um, events. Let's listen to Caro. How do you remember? ¿Cómo recuerdas las cosas? Or just by memory. Solo con tu memoria. Uh, all time. I memory. Memory. Okay, good. Diego, what about you? I always use my cell phone teacher. Yeah, that, that, that's a, a good tool, right? We have a lot the of things. The one. Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course, the best. Andrea, what about you? I, como dijo Claudia. Eh... All time. Memory all time. Mm -hmm. Memory all time. Really? Well, I think there are some things that um, I don't remember. I cause I cannot remember. Teacher, is the power of, of women. Ah, women. Yeah. Women power. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, no, si ustedes no, no olvidan nada, eso ya lo sé. I, no. I know, I know that. Teacher, eso le iba a decir. Las mujeres tenemos buena memoria. I don't know why, but yes. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, sometimes that is not good for us, for men. No es bueno tanto para los hombres, but okay. And let's listen to Veronica. How do you remember things, Veronica? Events. Okay, Veronica, I can hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Table of activities. Oh, you have a table of activities. Okay. Uh, you can say table time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or table of activities. And that's good because we have a lot of things to do at, at work. Uh, at home with your friends, with your family, birthdays, um, anniversaries, a lot of things. And uh, what about you, Marlo? Um, sometimes I ask my wife to remember me, oh, teacher. Yeah, and, the hell of a woman. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I use my cell phone too. Yes, the cell phone. And I have. Too. I have an agenda too. I try, or oh, I'm trying to every tool or or the, the every ways to to remember. Okay, yes, and that's uh, that's uh, the best uh, thing. Different ways. Yes, be because I I have I have no uh, I don't have a good a good memory. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, well, I think you have good memory, but not um, for all the things, right? Yeah, specific things. you know, we sometimes are, are have have too too demasiadas cosas que hacer. Too, too much, many yeah, to too, many things. Too, much, too many things. Too many, things. Too, too many things to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that's that. That's because uh, sometimes I forget what to do. Yeah, that happens <laughs> to me. That happens to me. Okay, Diego. Uh, it looks like a wolf, right? Parece lobo. Your dog. <laughs> Yeah, it's bother right here. Okay, hey, let okay. me introduce to my daughter. Okay, let's see. Wow, <laughs> what what's uh, her name? Is Shadow. Oh wow, good Shadow, good good name. Yeah. Okay, oh, well, <laughs> perfect. I don't have pets anymore, but it, it is a uh, yeah, why it, not? It um, uh, well, the last one died the last year so we are we're waiting a while and then we're, we're going to have it you know it is necessary yes of course yes that's good okay nice to to know shadow and then we go with diana hello dianita como recuerda las cosas how do you remember things all time memory memory wow Good memory, perfect for you. Um, Edgar and Helen. Hello, Edgar. How do you remember events? My calendar, agenda, cell phone. Mm. Mm. Uh, maybe uh, for a brain. Brain no. memory. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. powerful memory. Fine. Yeah. Okay, Helen, what about you? 
Okay, Helen is going to be with us in a while. Okay, the topic of today is really interesting. I really like it and you, well, it is really useful. It's quite useful. So present continuous for future events. There are a lot of things we can talk about future by using will be or will, using going to, using adverbs, okay? But uh, we're going to know or to reinforce uh, this uh, grammar structure that is present continuous for the future events. Okay, remember, there are different ways. Tenemos uh, también el otro que es el will, right? And we have going to, que creo que I, I consider that we're going to study next week. Creo que sí lo vamos a alcanzar a, a, a estudiar la, la siguiente semana. But meanwhile, si me escuchan esta. Meanwhile significa mientras tanto. Si quieren anotenla. I, I, I like to use this. Meanwhile. Porque while significa mientras. While significa mientras. But meanwhile y es un, una conjunción, it is a, 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 well, a very important conjunction, mean while, or while, pero después vamos a ver el while, porque eso se utiliza un poquito como otra estructura gramatical, okay? So, before getting into the content, do you think we are too dependent on technology? Uh, is it technology so important in our lives nowadays? Or is it fundamental? Is it like a, a basic need? Es una necesidad básica. Uh, can we live without technology? How could it be the life without technology? So uh, there are a lot of matters that come into my mind when I listen the dependent to be dependent on technology. So we're going to listen first to um, Dianita. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Please, Denise. I, I think that everything has become essential in our life, and we are used to buying, compra, comprar. Yeah. Buying. buying or purchase. Purchasing, ah, okay. purchase. Buying, selling, mm -hmm. even social. Socializar, sociali socialize. 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 Uh, through technology. Yes, okay, through technology. So that's like a, a basic tool, una herramienta básica, right, Diana? Okay, yes. Sí. Okay, okay. I, I like the word essential. Yes, I like that word. No esa palabra. Thank you, Diana. Very good. Uh, Mercy, what about you? What do you think about it? In my opinion, yes. Mm -hmm. Now we depend on the technology. We need her award to do homework in school or university. Even though there are books, we depend on technology because it has the ability to transform on facility, mm -hmm. processes, processes. Uh, yes, in daily processing. Life. Processing. processes. Processes. Processes in the life. Okay, yes. Well, all the the, 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 the aspects that you said, yeah, uh, all of them are are for real. Now, I thank you, Mercy. Okay, what about Veronica? Tell me, what are your thoughts, Veronica? Yes, because they have come to facilitate many things at work. For example, sending documents by phone, communication with people from other countries, etc. Okay, so you say yes, uh, it facilitates, facilitates, facilitates. A, lo a lot of uh, things. Remember uh, like 20 years ago or 15 years ago, uh, most of the jobs were uh, developed differently Different. because the photocopy machine, because the scanner, do you remember scanners? So now you can do it by using your phone, right? Yes, and yes. there are a lot of things that you can do it. Yeah, 
well, I'm talking about technology, but also internet, about different machines, okay, different apps or platforms. All of those aspects uh, are uh, are part of technology, not only cell phones, but yes, of course. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, what about Diego? Tell me, my friend, what's your opinion about it? Okay, uh, yes, I believe that in our current days, people every time become more dependent every day on technology. Uh, so in say way, the technology help us to, to do part of our lives simple and easier in for instance, okay. <laughs> if you want to order some food, you can do it even with your with your cell phone. If you want to pay bills, you can do it too, from your home or or even in every place in every place that you are at the moment. But at the other hand, I believe that the most people wasted the technology. In a thing without importance. As a conclusion, I think that it's good to take advantage about it, about technology, but when we make good use of it. Wow. Yes, Diego, a very good structure opinion. Thank you. And let me tell you something. Anytime. Uh, uh, when you say uh, that take advantage, right? of that tool or different tools uh, related to technology. Imagine we, well, when I say we, I include uh, all of you, right? Because we have like in a rate of age, but I think the youngest is Kevin, I guess, I don't know. Kevin looks like uh, 20, right? Kevin, how old are you, my friend? How old? Uh, I'm 20 years old. Yes, that, that's why huh? Kevin is like the youngest, como que el más joven, I guess, or, or Alex. Yes, Alex. But uh, for the rest of us, uh, we have that period of time in which we didn't use a lot, well, uh, the technology at all, or not at all, but not like, a, not a, like as now, right? So imagine the future, uh, the future generations, how dependent are they going to be? So, well, thanks. And um, Kevin, okay, the youngest student. No, not the youngest, but one of them. Okay, Kevin, tell me, um, what, what are your ideas about uh, the dependence on technology? Okay, I think, yes, because at this point, technology is very essential, not only the internet or cell phones, uh, no sé, como, para decir también, teacher, ¿cómo sería? Also, para, besides. Uh -huh. Also, besides of the ma machines that make many important things. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, you can say also, o oh, besides, or moreover, que significa también, o también significa además. Okay, además. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes, you can you take notes. Eh? Those words are, are really useful. Ya todos ustedes utilizan estas palabras. Son bastante eh, útiles. Okay, man, thank you. Yes, uh, there are different machines, not only cell phones, as you said. And uh, even you, you can say the ATM, los cajeros, the ATM. Uh, imagine like 10 years ago or 15 years ago, it was, well, at least in himself, it was uh, really difficult to pay bills or yes, or, or to pay different things by using ATM. Now you can do it, but also you can do it by cell phone. Thank you. What about, um, let's listen to Edgar. Okay, Edgar. Okay. Uh, uh, the truth is it de depends a lot of technology because today we all have a cell phone, a computer, television, internet, cable channels, electronic payment, trout, and NFC. And we use the ATM for, for our salary. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's it. And even uh, we can use the ATM, but also if you want, you can buy everything by electronic money, right? You can use the QR code or you can uh, pay by transactions. There are different ways to, to, to use money. 
and even you 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 can it is not necessary to have cash but it is better well sometimes it's better for uh, like personal administration thank you edgar good for you um what about marlon tell me marlon it's your turn to say if yeah if we are dependent or not yes uh, i think we are we are uh, dependent on technology uh, because uh, uh, no lo podemos evitar, teacher. We can't. Uh... Uh, yes, we can uh, deny or we can evade. Uh -huh. Yeah. Evade, evitar. Uh, deny is denegar. Oh, negar. Yeah. We can deny and we can evade. Yes. Uh, because uh, 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 technologies uh, are coming, uh, uh, taking all the. All the Como, como decirle, este, más presencia, más fuerza, yes, becoming more stronger. Yes, becoming stronger. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, everything uh, is uh, becoming part of the technologies. Um, you can see it because when when your boss pay you, uh, he, he puts the money in, uh, in una cuenta de banco. Yeah, yeah bank account in a bank in a bank account and you you have your your uh, debit card or you can use gastarlo, an app mm -hmm. gastarlo como es, teacher. you can spend spend you can spend all the money uh, uh, even if you don't if you don't have cash if you don't have it physically right yeah you 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 can all 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 of that uh, you can do all of that um, only uh, for the technology, yes. having an app, uh, paying by internet, debit card, mm -hmm. debit card, and and I don't know. Uh, we we are part of this. Uh, you know that the like like uh, someone said, the change is the only one constant, mm -hmm. and we are changing, and we are every time. Uh, and, yeah, and we are uh, progressing. Uh, so uh, we are to depend of the technology we can't we can't evade it you can't evade it that, okay that's that's my opinion yes uh, good one good your opinion we, we have to we have to uh, uh, used to mm -hmm. we have to used to get used to accustom and one important characteristic of our human beings is that we adapt adaptation yeah. So we have to adapt to 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 new uh, uh, periods of time in new technology because technology it is not only uh, talking about internet but also medicine, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Of course. Wow. Well, uh, it is uh, really wide. Wide significa amplio. Como www, verdad? Web worldwide. <laughs> Okay, amplio. Okay, um, a difference. Spend is gastar. Pero cuando también se puede decir spend time with my family, pero no es gastando tiempo con la familia, es pasar tiempo con la familia. Spend time. Pero cuando decimos waste, es desperdiciar. Como waste in love. From yeah. of the Dark mm -hmm. album, right? Really good album. So yeah. waste es ya desperdiciar. Okay, when you waste, but spend. Mm -hmm is gastar or uh, you can use it for time when you spend time with your family when you pass time with your family okay so good um let's see we're going to continue later but first i'm going to check the attendance list so say uh, something to for me to know that you are there so ana mercedes hello present thank you uh, andrea present hello carmen are you there carmen? present ah ya apareció Good. Eh, Caro, Lina. I'm here. Thank you. Claudia? No yet. Okay. Alex? Are you there? Present. Thank you, Alex. Um, uh, Christian? Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Um, Diana? Present. Good. Diego? Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Dorita, are you there? 
No, I guess no. Uh, Edgar. Present teacher. Nice, Helen. Okay, so you Present. Hello, la que se me esconde. Okay, uh, Carla. teacher. Ah, vaya, está bien. No problem, no problem, Present. Helen. No te vas a caer. Thank Present. You. Carla, thank you, Carla. Uh, Kevin. Present teacher. Good, Marlon. And present. Thank you, Susie. Present. And Veronica. Present teacher. Thanks, thanks a lot, my friends. So um, then we're going to, to advance. Uh, how to use present continuous. This is the topic of, of today's class. So for future events, sabemos que el, el presente continuo sirve. It reflects actions that are happening uh, in that moment or right now. Es para acciones que pasan en este momento. Por ejemplo, I am talking, I am speaking, okay? Um, uh, Andrea is touching uh, her mouth. Uh, let's see. Uh, Helen is walking. Helen está caminando, okay? So there are a lot of activities that happen in this moment, okay? So, but, but uh, we're going to use present continuous for future events. Y podemos utilizarlo de esta manera. We use, Marlon, can you help me? We use present, please, by reading mm -hmm. this sentence. Of course. Uh, we use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at time later than now. Later than now. Yeah, that's it. And we have the structure. Thank you, Marlon. Structure. We have subject plus verb B plus main verb gerund. Plus complement, entonces gerund significa que va a tener una ing, perdón, va a tener ing. No I am meeting the interns tomorrow. Eh, aquí diría, estoy conociendo a los internos mañana, ¿verdad? No tiene como mucho sentido, entonces se tradu traduciría como eh, voy a conocer a, lo, a los internos, uh -huh. voy a conocer a los internos. Es como cuando ustedes en español a veces decimos, ah, tengo, uh, eh, trabajo mañana. Trabajo, if you say, I work tomorrow, estás diciendo, yo trabajo, estás en presente, pero tomorrow, utilizas ese adverbio, o sea, mañana, ok, me caso mañana, ok, so, me caso, ok, it's not today, it's tomorrow, so, entonces, ese mañana, ese adverbio cambia la oración, ok, aunque ustedes no dicen, me, pueden decir, me casaré mañana, pero si dicen, me divorcio mañana, verdad, ya están utilizando el presente, pero como utilizan el mañana, eso lo cambia. Ah, pues esto es similar. Aquí dice, this action will take place in the future. So the future is tomorrow. El futuro mañana. No como dice el futuro es hoy. Yeah. Entonces tomorrow, ese adverbio le cambia. Le cambia la idea. So, uh, uh, Diego, can you help me here? What time? And then Carmen with letter B. Sure. Uh, what time is Maria interviewing the people? Carmen? She's interviewing them <laughs> at 5 p.m. Okay, Carmen, you were there. No problem. Uh -huh. she, what time is Marie interviewing? <laughs> Dice, ¿a qué hora? Relax, Diego. Se emocionó, Diego. Okay, ¿a qué hora entrevista, entrevistará María las personas? Ella lo entrevistará, los, les entrevistará o los entrevistará a las 5. Pero aquí de, diría como ella las está entrevistando. Uh -huh. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos para que entren más en contexto. Okay, uh, Carmen, I am... I am writing the report next week. Writing, writing or writing? Writing. Okay, continue, please, Carmen. Nice. And I am sending it as soon as you finish. Yes, as soon as you finish, yes. Eh, dice, escribir el reporte la siguiente semana o la otra semana. Nice. Bien. Eh, lo enviaré tan pronto como... Lo finaliza. As soon as es ta, tan pronto como. As soon as possible. As soon as you finish. As soon as you come. Tan pronto como tú vengas. As soon as you leave. Eh, tan pronto como tú te vayas. So this is. And uh, we're going to study this structure uh, with some other uh, examples. Vamos a utilizar otros ejemplos, ¿verdad? Pero la base es la siguiente. El sujeto que es I, you, he, she, lo que sea, verb be. Ya saben que es am, is, are. Y el verbo va a llevar ing. Ojo con eso, ing y el complemento. ¿Okay? Normalmente el complemento va a ser también de esas palabras que se refieren a mañana, pasado mañana, 
um, the, la otra semana, el otro mes, ok? So, here we have uh, keywords to express future. Tenemos palabras, eh, palabras clave para expresar el futuro. Today, tonight, tomorrow morning. También podemos decir tomorrow. We can say also tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Next Thursday, this weekend, until the end of this year. As soon as, así como les había dicho, tan pronto como. As soon as, este es un ejemplo, you finish. As soon as um, you come. As soon as uh, you leave. Okay, so that's it. Uh, today, tonight, tomorrow morning, next Thursday, this weekend, until the end of this year. Year, no, year, verdad? Year, as soon as you finish. Okay, so these are like keywords that we're going to use it, or we're going to use for expressing um, future events by using present continuous, okay? So I think uh, you know most of them, conocen a la mayoría de estas, ¿verdad? So we are not having problems at all with this, ¿verdad? ¿Tenemos alguna dificultad con alguna de esas? ¿Significado? ¿Meaning? ¿Talking about meaning? Creo que todo, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿La podría repetir, po? Okay. Um, today significa hoy. Tonight, esta noche. Tomorrow morning, que sería mañana. En la mañana podemos decir tomorrow afternoon también. Tomorrow evening. ¿Verdad? Mañana en la noche. O sea, puedo, eh, tomorrow es como la vieja confía. Next Thursday, también podemos decir, ¿verdad? Eh, next Thursday es eh, el otro jueves o el jueves que viene, ¿verdad? Next Monday, next Sunday. So, we, we can use a variety of options here. Una variedad de opciones. This weekend, este fin de semana, until, until the end of this year. Uh, sería hasta el final o al final de este año. As soon as, tan pronto como. Okay. So that's it. We're going to find uh, these phrases in some sentences below. So it is good for you to know um, the meaning and the pronunciation. Okay. Complete the following sentences. Use the conversation above to help you. Um, let's see. We're going to have Susie Q. And also we're having, okay, uh, Susie, select one and then Veronica. Number one. Okay, he. He is present. Teacher, sorry, ¿qué tengo que estar aquí, perdón? ¿Qué dice, te dice tu corazón? ¿Te dice algo? Aquí está la estructura. Mira. Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos a completar. He is. Present. Pero no tengo un ejemplo. No, necesito tiempo. Please. Así me dijeron una vez y se tardaron mucho. Yo estoy esperando. Fíjate. Okay. No, yo no lo voy a hacer esperar mucho. Ah, así me dijeron una vez todavía hace cinco años. Ok, uh, Verónica, pick one, one or two. I am informing the community about that. I am informing. Ajá, aquí le hace falta el am, que es el verb. I am informing mm -hmm. the committee, committee about committee that. Committee about that. Yes. Ajá. Susi, ya pasó mucho tiempo. So much time. No, teacher, sorry. No, no entiendo. Ahorita sorry. no. Estoy procesando. Ahorita no, también me han dicho. Ok. Solo le hace falta ING. Presenting. Para que sea en futuro. Ajá, sería entonces. Presenting. Presenting. Presenting, 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 presenting with the new employee. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Okay, we're going to study in a moment. So, do you think we are too dependent on technology? Um, we're going with Andrea. Okay, Andrea, tell me. Okay, yes, because we currently use technology to study, to work, having. Even or free time, we use a technological device, for instance, a smart TV or a smartphone. Good well, one. For instance, smart TV or different devices. Cuando decimos eh, gadget, 
device se refieren como a los mismos, son como dispositivos, son como USB, uh, headset, headphones. O sea, cuando digan device, es como dispositivo, ¿ok? Gadget es lo mismo. Por eso se le decía al inspector gadget, porque tenía un montón de maquinitas, ¿eh? cositas que tenía. Tipo. A ver si se recuerdan, era una caricatura de mis... Uh, ok, um, what about... Yes, you remember that. It was a really good cartoon. Okay, Carmen. Yes, in this age we do almost everything so technology ex exercise, uh, for example, uh, exercise, maternal care, baby care, cooking, mm -hmm. uh, yes. muchas cosas más. A, lo a lot of things, yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Okay, uh, Carolina, Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> of course, uh, we also depend on technology that if we don't know use in we des, 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 desesper, desesperate. Desperate. Des, no, desesperate. Sí, desperate. Cosa desesperada. <laughs> No, que no ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Desperate. Desperate in the case of the internet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No se desespere. Okay. Um, Christian, are you ready, my friend? Yes, I am ready. Okay, go ahead, Chan. And, well, I think yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can see if in people it is rare who does uh, not have a cell phone a ver, la tecnología la tienen todo en, yes en que it teléfono is, que tengan suficiente it is weird puede ser un tamagotchi yes it is strange or rare when a person if a person doesn't have a cell phone right Okay, but yeah, there is uh, like a, a small percentage of, of population that maybe they don't have it, but though uh, that is an exception. Okay, uh, Alex, are you ready? Yes. Okay, please. In in some case, I think that it, we depend on technology more than anything else at work. Mm. That's like fundamental, right? More than anything, okay. Thank you. Um, so we can see in different cases, verdad? Different cases, it's plural. Okay, thank you, Alex. Very good point. And Helen, are uh, are you at home? Ah, sí, ya te vi relaxing. Okay. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Depends the technology. Okay, well, so we are dependent. Sí, somos eh, dependientes de la tecnología, right? Tenemos no para... sí. <laughs> okay, okay, Carla, and then Susi. Yes, because the technology has advanced so much. Um, we've been ever everything. Yes, you. Okay, thank you. And Susie, tell me. Lately, yes, we depend a lot on it. We have made it so necessary for our life in the way that I see it. For everything, we need technology. Okay, for everything. Can you imagine to live one month without internet? One month. Uh, with, with not credit cell phone, credit on cell phone, no uh, Wi-Fi, one month? No. No, it is. We can do it, but it will be really strange, right? Because uh, technology, internet, and all of those things facilitates or may, uh, well, for example, internet makes us to do things easily. Okay, so thank you, Susie. I'm going to present a conversation. Please uh, try to remember some of the verbs, phrases, or yeah, parts of, of this conversation. Okay, I'm going to give you seven 
seconds. Kevin, you're going to first. You're going to be the first. Then Edgar. Eh, comienzo, teacher. No. Relax. Okay. What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Kevin, what do you remember? Teacher, no puede ver nada de aquí. Por eso te estaba diciendo que, que vieras que daba siete segundos. Ajá. Vamos, que. Vaya, bueno, bueno, voy a seguir con el resto que sí vio. Kevin, yo creo que en este, en este ejercicio creo que sí te cuesta un poquito todavía. Cuando yo hago esto, normalmente trabajo con la memoria de corto plazo, o sea, la retentiva, para que ustedes tengan como una idea de qué se va a tratar, ¿verdad? Pero yo sé que a veces estamos un poquito ocupados. I know, I know that, but... The point is that you remember some of the words. In the process in your brain gives you an idea about the conversation. Así que se le, le da comunidad de que se trata la conversación. Eso es una previewing. Preview es una vista previa. Es una técnica de lectura. Y también hacemos scanning. ¿verdad? Scanning es buscar palabras que son eh, útiles, especialmente verbos, nombres, dat datas. ¿verdad? Eh, what about Marlon? Tell me. What do you remember, Marlon? Uh, I remember uh, uh, one of the says, guess what? I am. Guess what? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what about um, Christian? Yes. I remember the conference. Pre presenting, informing. I'm sorry. And uh, what about Diana? I remember I have a question. Tell me. I'm sorry. I ajá, te recuerdas de eso. Yo, ah, okay, okay, ajá. Thank you, Diana. Um, eh, Andrea. Eh, Héctor, the new accountant. Héctor. Eh, Carito. Uh, the next week. The next week, okay, Susi. Mm, solo who. Our representative. Carla. I have a question. The company delivering. Okay, thank you. No llores, Carita. Te queremos todos. We all love you. Uh, Diego. Okay, teacher. I read some read. So. I am informing the committee about it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Does anybody remember about the names of the people involved in the conversation? The names of, of the two, two guys, I guess. Peter and Henry. Peter Parker, okay. So here we have uh, Peter and Henry. I will need the help of Susie. Okay, Susie, you're going to be Peter and Henry is going to be um, Carmen. So it says, hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? No conference, conference. Hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? When we say, guess what? Adivina qué? I am. I am presenting with Hector and the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, Susie and Carol, you go. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is 
attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the, the, the presentation for the CEO next mm -hmm. week? Guess what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, thank you. Um, so can you see the verbs attending, pre uh, presenting, informing? All of them have ing at the end. Todos tienen ing, verdad? Ing. Y todos tienen am o tienen is antes, verdad? Que es el verbo. CEO es um, Chief Executive Officer, que es como un representante, bueno, más bien es una persona de alto rango de los eh, como representantes y como un alto rango más allá que el, que el, que el, que el gerente y todo eso. Entonces, CEO es is like the man, es como realmente la, la persona encargada, pues es como la responsable principal y el que me da la cara. CEO, Chief Executive Officer. Okay, so here you have this. I need you to have screenshot. Eh, necesito que le ponga una, bueno, que tome una captura de pantalla. Porque la vamos a trabajar. Okay, I need you to have that. Si anotan esto, si gustan, si. Um, uh, CEO, Chief Executive Manager, es como pues, si la persona más, más powerful, more powerful. Okay. And, and we're going to practice this a little bit. Teacher. Yes. But uh, there is in chief ex executive officer. Ah, sorry. I'm crazy. Yes, yes, officer. Okay, let's put it in. He said officer hace rato. Sí, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> eh, no sé qué tengo con los managers. Yes, uh, chief executive officer. Officer. Please. So, ya que lo tenemos todo, ya que estamos ahí. Thanks, thanks a lot, uh, Diego, for remembering me. Chief, executive. And time, teacher. Perfect. Okay, we're going to create the, the groups. So, um, see you in a couple of seconds, okay? Okay. No, oh, see you. Hello, Carmen. Hi, teacher. Hello, I'm going to be your partner this time, but I need you to give me a, a second. Okay, uh, let's practice, okay, uh, Carmen? Okay, you beat it. Yeah, okay, no, as you wish, como it says. Okay, okay I'm, I start, so, and then we can change. Hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, 
Well, Maria is, but Julie is at, at attending the conference this year too, so. I said it, this year too, so, ¿verdad? Como hay puntitos, so. Ah, y sí. Como que iba a decir algo. Ah, mm -hmm. como mm -hmm. que iba a decir algo. Sí, sí, hey, Peter, bien. María es, pero Julie va a atender a la, a, a, a la conferencia este año, así que, ah, y sí, y la otra persona, ah, y la, ajá. Sí. Okay. Years too. So I see. But if Julie's attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. Y ahí, porque dice, yo, yo soy, yo voy a presentar. Dice. Ajá, entonces, ¿y quién va, quién va a presentar el CEO la, la siguiente semana? Adivina quién? Yo. Yo. <laughs> Luego, I am presenting. Ajá, por eso está el signo de admiración. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, guess this what? what? This what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Committee Bien, about Carmen. It. Carmen, siento que en esta semana has mejorado. Sí. Sí, sí, yo siento, yo he sentido más difícil lo que hemos leído esta semana. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Pero si no tenemos algo más difícil, nos quedamos <laughs> estancaditos. Entonces, sí. Cuando, sí, vaya, imagínate, nos remontamos a la primera clase de, de, de este curso, ¿verdad que lo sentiría más fácil? Sí. Ya no digamos el curso pasado. Sí. Definitely. Definitely, demasiado. <risa> For babies. But no. Bien, vamos, yo ahora tú eres Peter. You are Peter now. Eh, I'm Henry. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is presenting the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So... I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, committee. Committee about it. Excelente. Cuando veas about it, siempre di about it, con R, about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can say about it, pero bien como decir about it, about it. Okay. okay. Perfect, Carmen. Te estás mejorando bastante y me gusta escuchar tu pronunciación. Porque yo a veces cuando van por acá, cuando digo, mm, estoy como pendiente, a ver cómo pronuncia. Entonces, y cuando, cuando veo que pronuncia bien por dentro, le hago, yes. Entonces, sí, siento, siento como, como que, mm -hmm, así es, that's the way. Así que, pues, me llega, me llega. Te veo en un momento. Ok, teacher, ok, okay thanks. You're welcome. Vamos a ver si ya viene el resto. Eh, Carmen, ¿sientes las preguntas más difíciles ahora? Unas más que otras. Unas más que otras. Uh -huh. y, y, y cuando contestan, eh, yo oigo compañeros que dicen bastante y no, no, no mucho entiendo. Entonces yo trato de contestar lo que entiendo. Mm -hmm. No, but that, that's okay. Remember that a veces, there are people that talk a, a lot, but the main point, say, they say it at the end or in the middle. El punto principal dicen al final o en medio. Pero yo siempre soy del que voy al grano. Yo siempre voy al grano. Pero hay otros que mm -hmm. hablan más. Uh -huh. So that, that's it. O cuando dan más detalles. Eso es importante. O para alargar la, la, las, las respuestas, es muy común detalles o ejemplos y alargas un poquito más. Ok. Ok. So, uh, hello everybody. Here we have this. We don't have, I think we don't have problem with this, but now um, I need to hear some of uh, your pronunciation, well, your sentence pronunciation. So, merci. You're going to say from here to here. Okay, and then Sus, I know, Susie is already Diana, from who to conference. Okay, Mercy, go. 
Hello, Henry. I had a question. Thank you, Diana. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Mm -hmm. Conference, conference. Thank conference. you. Yes, we need that. Okay, uh, Carito. Hey, Peter. Carito. Thank you. Go ahead. Hey, Peter. Is what? Where? 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 Hey, Peter. Well, Mar Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, oh, okay, Kevin, please. I see the total, Kevin. I see, and hasta next week. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Thank you, Edgar. Guess what? And guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Thank you. Christian, sounds great. Sounds great. Uh, Sue, so I am informing the committee? committee about it. About it. Yes, perfect. So thank you. Here we go with Unscramble, Andreita. What does it mean, Unscramble? Ordenar. <laughs> yes. Ah, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to scrum the following words to create sentences. Bien, tenemos a Alex. Hello, Alex. Are you there? Hello. Okay, help me by reading number one. Jose. Is. Mm -hmm. Receiving. Receiving the next worker tomorrow. Perfect. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. So we have uh, six sentences. Well, five sentences to be completed. So Mercy is going to help me and Veronica first. So pick one of these, Mercy and Veronica. Mercy, you go first. Number two. Number two. Yes, mm -hmm. Mar yeah. is sending the letters the next week. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, Veronica, and then we go with... Diana. Three. Mm -hmm. Three. Jane is on the report. No, Jane is working on the report tonight. Perfect. Tonight. Diana and then um, Christian. Number four. four. Walter is signing the checks today. Thank you. Okay. Um, who's next? Christian, right? Christian and Marlon. Number six. Mm -hmm. Guillermo is going to tomorrow or the bank, the bank tomorrow. Okay, thank you. No. Yes, perfect. And Marlon. <clears throat> Number five, teacher. Yes. Um, Maria one. is um, organizing the presentation in the, in the afternoon. Yes, excellent. Thanks. Se dan cuenta que siempre dice tomorrow, next week, um, tonight, um, today, in the afternoon, tomorrow. Todos esos, eh, tienen, eh, they have function of a, an adverb. So they make it like, a, well, they have like an emphasis of on the future, ¿verdad? Tienen la función de un adverbio y hacen pues, la, que hacen un emphasis um, para el futuro. Bueno, me, aquí mejor les voy a presentar la imagen because uh, here in the PowerPoint presentation, it is not, uh, well, it doesn't have like a, a good quality. So, and here we have a uh, present uh, simple, I'm sorry, it wasn't what I wanted, yes. Okay, um, we're going to read a little bit. Bueno, pueden ver acá dice, present simple versus present continuous. So I will need the help of some of you here. And the first one is going to be um, Carmen. Aquí. ¿A dónde, teacher? Aquí, for facts. For Estamos facts. Con, aquí, aquí tenemos presente simple. Uh -huh. For facts. For facts or things that are always true or generally, generally true. True. Thank you. Para hechos que, o cosas que son siempre o, re, o generalmente 
verdaderos. Uh -huh. Tenemos whales live in the ocean, que las eh, ballenas viven en el océano. Eso es, eso es totalmente cierto. A dog has four legs. Un perro tiene cuatro eh, ¿qué? piernas, digamos. Y aquí tenemos uh, present continuous tense. Vaya. Así que ya vimos que el presente para esto sirve, ¿verdad? Para hechos reales o que en la mayoría sí. pues, son reales. Yes. Can you share us uh, one screenshot about, about that? Uh, okay, okay. ¿Cómo okay. sería esta, esta lámina o esa diapositiva? Yeah, that, that, yes. Well, this is an image. Es una imagen. Uh, Pero si quieren se los envío mejor. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, just give me a couple of seconds. Yes, because I think that this is quite important to eso, have. Y eso es, teacher, más que todo, por ejemplo, si yo voy en el bus o estoy en un tiempo libre, poder repasar eso. Esto, sí, esta um, es bien importante, más que todo porque son, uh, ¿qué? Son, bueno, es, es algo bien, bien, parece simple, pero realmente, pues, eh, nos aclara Yo varias cosas. Sí, 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 sí. Okay, um, um, the internet is not working very well, but... Um... Pero yo pienso que no se puede compartir después, dicho, no hay okay. problema. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yo porque eh, quería que también la, la leyeran como que más, que, más facilidad, pero igual. Entonces sí se la voy a, para que la tengan eh, más nítida, okay? Okay, okay. Let's see, uh, we have Mercy. Vamos aquí con present continuous tense, please. For, desde ahí. Yes. For an action happening right now at the moment of speaking. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Mercy. Entonces dice que una acción que está pasando en este momento, ahora es lo que yo les quería explicar. El present continuous normalmente sirve para una acción que está pasando en el momento, pero nosotros en el tema de ahora le estamos utilizando como una acción que va a pasar como un plan futuro, como algo que es casi seguro que va a pasar. So, I am teaching an English lesson, que este soy yo, cabal, gordo así. Estoy enseñando, ¿verdad? Estoy enseñando inglés, una lección de inglés. You are watching a video, estás mirando un video, algo que puede pasar en ese momento, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, here we have also simple, what? Um, simple present versus present continuous. Aquí dice, I live in England, vivo en Inglaterra. I'm living in London at the moment. Estoy viviendo en Londres en este momento. Entonces, sí se nota la diferencia, ¿verdad? Y aquí tenemos, uh, what do you do? What are you doing? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Verdad? Pero también podemos escribir, what are you doing tomorrow? ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana? El tomorrow cambia, cambia pues todo eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, bueno, esto no es necesario, aquí está como resumido. Pero igual se lo voy a mandar para que tengan como una idea más clara, ¿ok? Because we have to advance, tenemos que pues avanzar en todo lo que se pueda. Y let me see. Um, we're going to just give me a couple. Of... Teacher, uh, sorry, sorry for the question, but ¿en qué se diferencia con el will? Uh -huh. Vaya, te lo voy, a, lo voy a explicar de esa manera. Cuando tenemos, eh, voy a dar una explicación breve, ¿verdad? Porque esta era como, ¿qué? Eh, pues sí, yo, yo tengo la no, conclusión pero, porque Will también es para futuro, o sea, y si ocupamos este como futuro también, ¿cómo lo podemos diferenciar o cómo podemos hacer para el, el exponerlo? Es hoy, el, el, el futuro es hoy. Uh -huh. Ok. Tenemos. Le voy a explicar tres futuros. Y sin las cinco gemas, teacher. Sin las cinco gemas. <ríe> ok. Ok. Utilizamos el will para cosas improbables. Que sí y que no. Um, I will go to the beach on December, in December. Yeah, si decís que vas a ir a la playa, pero no está como, I'm sorry, December, 
pero como no está muy claro, ¿verdad? Entonces, va, ah, iré a, a la playa en diciembre. Pero si tú utilizas el going to, utilizas. Um, quiero ver una fecha. Le voy a disminuir esta letra porque aquí se ve muy grande. ¿no? Muy bien. Estos son los claros ejemplos. Vale. Tenemos tres tipos de futuros. Como dijo Dr. Strange. En este caso, utilizamos el will para un futuro que es probable e improbable, como que no se sabe, ¿verdad? Como cuando no está seguro de algo en el amor, por ejemplo. I will go to the beach in December. Voy a ir en diciembre. Por ejemplo, le pregunto a, a Caro, what, what are your plans for December? Mm. ¿Cuáles son tus planes para diciembre? Ah, I will go to the beach in December. Voy a ir en diciembre. Pero no hay una fecha establecida. Posiblemente no se sabe si ya tiene un presupuesto para eso. Ya. Yeah. Ahora, going to. El going to funciona así. I am going to the beach on Saturday 28. Aquí ya hay un plan y aquí sí es Aquí ya sabe, Caro ya tiene el pisto y tiene el novio y tiene la fecha. So, ella va a ir a la playa, ¿verdad? ¿Le dé permiso al esposo o no? Va a ir a la playa. So, en, en este caso, ya tiene la fecha que se permitió, ¿verdad, Carito? Y el present continuous, present continuous es un plan que va a pasar, que ya es seguro, que va a pasar ya, casi. Una fecha corta. Ya, ese es como que digamos, eh, will, como que más lejos, going to, ya está seguro, cercano y present continuous, como que ya, ya casi pasa. Por ejemplo, this weekend es este fin de semana, pasado mañana, carito, se va a ir a broncear. Uh -huh. So that's the point. Captamos más o menos los tres tipos de futuros. Eso sí le veo así sí. como que. No, 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 lo que pasa es que, pues sí, está confundida con el will, porque yo escucho muy, muy seguido el will de futuro, entonces yo me quedo, ¿y cuál es la diferencia realmente? Vale, le, voy, le voy a decir algo, algo bien, bien, algo que me dijo, me dijeron mis maestros. Eh, Edgar, ¿me ibas a comentar algo? Eh, sí, que es así. Eh, solamente en el presente continuo siempre tienen que ir los dos verbos, uno en gerundio y uno normal. Ah, permíteme, permíteme. Porque también going to pasa lo mismo. No, hombre, no, hombre, no, hombre, no, hombre. Ya estoy enamorado. Pensé que la otra había, había. Thank you, Edgar. Pensé que la otra. Se le nota el Sí, sí, no, es que me dieron un té bien raro. ¿no? Ok. Um, <risa> <risa> eh, aquí es el going to. Thank you, Edgar. Aquí es el okay. going to. Going to go. Y aquí okay. es el going to. I'm going. Entonces, aquí va el ING, ¿verdad? Aquí va el ING. Entonces, eh, digamos que aquí está lejos, está lejos para que pase esto. Eso sí, ya casi. Y esto ya casi pasa. Ya carito, ya, ya, ya tiene las maletas hechas. Uh -huh. Y otra pregunta. Eh, el presente continuo en aquel entonces cuando lo estudié era como diciendo, haciendo la acción en el momento. Ahora, digamos, ahora. Sí. Es, entonces, es, lo, es lo, que les acabo, lo que les acabo de explicar en la imagen. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. I am uh, drinking water. Ahorita. Estoy tomando agua. Y es agua, pueden ver si quieren. Es agua. Uh -huh. I'm drinking water. So that's, uh, that is something that is happening. ¿Qué está pasando en este momento? ¿Ya? Es gerundio. Es, sí, sí. Gerundio es cuando hay un ING. Uh -huh. Cuando hay ING. Uh -huh. Entonces... Este también es un present continuous, pero que está pasando en este momento. Vaya, mm -hmm. Un ejemplo, estás hablando con alguien y tú no le pones atención, you don't pay attention. Y la persona te dice, te estoy hablando, I'm talking to you, enojada, ya se imagina. Ajá, te estoy hablando. Entonces, ese es presente continuo, te estoy hablando, ¿verdad? I am talking to you. 
Entonces, Entonces, para diferenciarlo del futuro que ya casi va a pasar, el presente continuo sería este. eh, eso. Ajá. Esto, el este. Quick and Lock. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. Una fecha, esa es la diferencia. La fecha, o más bien eh, las palabras que sirven, como les puse hace un momento, que son estos. Uh -huh. Estos. Uh -huh. Keywords. Esa es la clave del éxito para que tengan suerte en el amor. Memorizarse esto. Ok. Today, tonight, tomorrow. Esto, eso te cambia el contexto. Por eso es un adverbio. Los adverbios cambian la oración o, o modifican más que todo. Entonces, si tienen eso, ya es eh, present continuous con futuro. Uh -huh. okay, creo que ma gracias. mañana voy a dar otro refuerzo de esto, creo. ¿Verdad? Sí, no, sí. es que yo les entiendo. I understand that. Les entiendo esto. Pero ya vamos a pasar a otros ejercicios. Y mañana sí también vamos a dar otro. Okay. Mm -hmm. si quieren, ok, you're welcome. Si quieren pueden tomarle captura a eso o lo copian porque eso es bien importante porque el will lo van a ver en el otro módulo. El going to, este, no sé si lo, si creo que se lo vamos a ver ahora. La otra semana, creo. Uh -huh. Espero. En present continuous, ¿verdad? Y este es drinking water. Aquí es. Uh -huh. Present. Voy a poner present. Okay, my friends. So, present, como que es now? Okay, present. Okay, thank you. Y nahuatl mexicano, no chica, porque el nahuatl de acá no era así. Okay, so. Yanita se ve bien concentrada escribiendo. Se comió el ay. Querido diario. Que tengo hambre. Okay. Uh -huh. ok. Mañana, me recuerdan, voy a dar una, como una, otra media reinforce de esto. Y ya van a ver que para mañana ya todo va a estar bien, mis queridos educandos. Todo va a pasar mañana. Ya no van a sentir todo. Ok. Let's continue. Gracias. Right, so si vos comenzás. Do you think parents are too permissive with their children? Nowadays, seremos muy alcahuetos, seremos muy, muy, I don't know, te, do we give a lot of permission? Damos mucho permiso, somos permisivos, um, damos, soportamos, ¿sí? somos muy al suave. Ah, uh, well, I, in my opinion, I think so, yes. I see that there is more freedom from parents to children. Although is, it is not at all good, uh, and I think it is because maybe their parents could not enjoy everything there is today, but still there should be a little more restriction on the part of the parents. Wow, oh, more restrictions. Mm -hmm. But parents, okay, that's it. Thank you. But and you say yes. We go now with Diana. Mm, Diana, okay. from your experience, tell me. I think that sometimes, uh, parents we make the mistake that they obtain uh, things without effort. Effort. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, in, the important. Effort. No, the esfuerzo. Effort, effort. Effort, mm -hmm. okay. Effort because we do not want them to have the differences, the sciences that we have uh, and do not learn the true value of things. Okay. Uh, um, me gusta que, bueno, I like that you mentioned values. And the last generation raised, that created raised differently for the, the, the other generations. And for example, our parents, that's a good example. And our grandparents and our grand grandparents and so on, uh, there, there are like different, it was a different philosophy, right? But that's it. Thank you, Diana. 
Okay, and now we're having, let's see, Andrea. Okay, Andrea. Okay. In most cases, parents today no longer instill values and give children everything they ask for. Okay. Um, they uh, like um, they ask it in a in a bad way. Lo piden de una manera pues eh, negativa, no 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 not possible. Okay. Thank you, Andreita. Edgar and then Veronica. Okay, Edgar, tell me what do you think about it. Okay. Um, comparing ancient times, uh, I say yes. Um, but in part it's necessary to give them a little chance because we cannot have the entire up or alongside on all the time. Everything in excess is bad. So from my point of view, there are not too permissive. Thank you. Thank you very much, Edgar and Veronica. Yes, why don't they put rules? Um, if they put punishment, they are inconsistent with their compliance. Mm -hmm. that, uh, key words, palabras clave, rules. Rules and punishment. They are quite different and the punishment is, it is not necessarily uh, physical, okay? El castigo no necesariamente debe ser físico, but there should be kind of, okay, algún tipo de, okay. Um, thank you, Veronica, very good. Carla and then Alex. Okay, Carla, are you ready? Yes, because parents were speak before, before. Okay, yes, uh, the, the previous parents, they have a, a different form to teach, okay? to teach us something. Okay, Alex, and then we're going with, let's see, with Diego. Yes, uh, yes, it, it sometimes in sense, cats, ¿cómo se dice? Cases, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Cases. Mm -hmm. Cases. Cases. Mm -hmm. They are too permissive Finish, porque no he terminado todavía. Ok, me hubiera dicho, no problem, no problem. Ok, okay. <laughs> fue muy honesto. Ok, thanks. Eh, Diego, you go. Ok, ok. Mm, yeah, currently the childhood is much disrespectfully about the others in most cases. And I believe that is the, the consequence for permissive fathers because if you educate your children with rules and discipline, you will have good children, but it's not you have, but it's not you have to abide by these consequences. For instance, teacher, I, for example, the last week, my daughter told me that he's dating someone, you know what I mean? Okay. And the first time that I that I asked her it was, and what does your mother think about it? And she told me, oh, that's okay, he's okay, he's agree. And I asked I asked her again, and when you will will tell me. <laughs> and and she told me, hey, I'm sorry, I I uh, no sabía. I, I didn't, didn't know. know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to say it. And I think that is because she knows me. And she knows that, that I am now totally, uh, totally agree. Agree, or maybe uh, mm -hmm. your reaction or your ideas about it, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm not uh, uh, about that, I think, but but um, I don't like the idea, you know. Yes. She's younger. She have to to canalize her her time and 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 all everything and in, in other things. But 
who who I am too. Okay, and I think that that is happening because that is the first time that that you well, uh, that's the first case, right? I think, and and also the point that well, that is some well, but uh, you have to see it in a good way because she at least told you. In some other cases, uh, the kids they don't say it. Well, they never say it. Yeah, she so, could hide hide it for. Mm -hmm, I don't course. know. So the, 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 there is confidence, but uh, as uh, as she is learning, you as well, right? So that's the point. And and uh, she needs your permission as all kids, because uh, they can be very impulsive. Okay, so they, especially they don't have experience about it. And that's a good example, Diego. So thank you. And I hope you, both of you can canalize your ideas and to have like a happy end for, 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 for this story. But I think that during, you have to remember when you were really young, really young, I think you were a very innocent boy, very innocent, calm boy. But <laughs> there are so well, it, it, you know how uh, the kids behave nowadays. Se comportan, they are in advance. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you have to be ready. Okay. So, yeah, but I have to talk with her. Yes, you have to talk. Remember communication and the confidence. That's yeah. so. That's something that in the past we didn't have. For at least, for the menos, at least I didn't have that confidence with, with my parents. And now I have to give her some some advices too. Yes, that's the most important. To listen to you. Yeah. Okay. So good luck, my friend. Good luck. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks. And well, after this, we're well, we're going to continue with. Uh, the others, the well, other kind of opinions. Bien, yo sé que eh, posiblemente se, no quiero que se me enchibolen, ¿verdad? Pero esto es sencillo, sencillo, paren de sufrir. We have full form and we have short form. Quiero ver si mejor les, um, le, les presento esta imagen. happening it is okay here i have it my computer is getting slow okay so here can you see the present continues aquí tenemos full form verdad i am not coming uh, sorry i'm not coming this is the negative this is the negative and And this is affirmative, ¿verdad? Como lo estamos diciendo, coming. Mm -hmm. Negative is full or short. Esa es la contracción, not. Eso es fácil, ¿verdad? I am, I am not, ¿verdad? And he is, he is not. And la forma de interrogativo la vamos a ver en otra clase, ¿verdad? Ya vi los temas que vamos a estudiar. So, algo que quiero que vean es esto. Pay attention to the following verbs. Arrive, arriving, start, starting. Se dan cuenta, can you see that uh, there are some vowels that are, well, that uh, you have to, to, to erase them. Tienen que borrarlas. En algunos casos, cuando son verbos monosílabos, tienen que agregar la otra, la, la última uh, consonante. Okay. So I will need you to tell me one of these. Pick one. One of these. Elijan cualquiera de esos y necesito que me los pronuncie. Verónica, you start. Okay, Vero, and then Susie. Start, starting. Thank you, Susie, Marlon. Picnic, picnicking. <laughs> okay, Marlon, Kevin. Um, fly, flying. Okay, um, Kevin, Carla. Try, trying. Good, Carla, Helen. Mm -hmm. Helen Edgar. Uh, read. Uh, read. Okay, arrive, arrive. Arrive, arrive. 
arriving. Thank you. Edgar Dorita. Ah, no, Dorita. Make, make, making. Making, good. Diego, Diana. I'm not sure, teacher, but I think that it is boat, boating. Yes, boat, boating. Yes, boat for Pedro. Okay. Thanks, good. Diana, Alex. Yes, sorry. Okay, uh, Alex, Christian. Have, having. Okay, uh, Christian, Carolina. Room, running. Good, Carolina, Claudia. Ah, hey, Carito. Sit, sitting. Okay, good. Uh, Carmen, Andrea. Sí, sitting. Good, Andrea, merci. Take, taking. Okay, so, okay, merci. Right, waiting. Okay, wait, uh -huh. wait, wait, waiting o waiting, mm -hmm. waiting. Igual que aquí pueden decir sitting o sitting, ¿verdad? Boating or boating. And that's it. Uh, recuerden que sometimes we have the T changes into R, cambia entra hacia la R. R. Vea, aquí están los, los que son monosílabos, lo que les digo que pues, se les agrega otra consonante. ¿Ves? Uh -huh. Los monosílabos se, se eh, identifican porque en medio tienen una vocal. Ese es, ¿verdad? En medio tienen una vocal. O sea, tienen consonantes. En medio. ¿Y esa cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cuál? Plan. Planning. Yes. Plan, plan, planning, planning. Okay. Yes. I'm planning to go to the beach this week. Wait. ¿Y Carita. el de sí? Um, sí. Sitting or sitting. Pero no sit. Es de S-E-E. -E. Uh, seeing. Yes, yeah, sí. No, no lo veo. I can see it. No lo veo, pero sí, así es. Sí. En la segunda. Ah, aquí está. Sí, yes, sí, sí. In. Tenía un, un teacher que me decía, cuando yo le decía watching, decía watching y se quedaba. Y nos hacía que todos decíamos, por ejemplo, talking. A él no le gusta que dijéramos talking, sino talking. Y nos quedamos como dos segundos. Pasamos como un mes haciendo eso. So, if, if you say walking, eh, you have to say walking y no es mentira nos quedamos dos segundos walking así eh, because eh, he had or he wanted us to pronounce I N G G la G porque los salvadoreños somos bien especiales le quitamos eh, the, the ending sounds yeah the ending sounds yeah it was phonetics era de fonética del teacher era muy bueno pero sí nos pedía cosas extrañas Así es que en pronunciación y todo eso. But uh, that worked a lot. So you can say listening, listening. Si se cuenta el mm, es como un sonido hasta nasal. Listening, walking, ¿verdad? No es walking, ¿verdad? Talking. Me recuerda a alguien. A un ex. No, que decía name. <ríe> se me pegó, se me pegó. Ey, es cierto. Me convertí en lo que juré destruir. No, mentira. Yes, es que ustedes decían Ney, my name is my name, my name. <ríe> Ey, la regué, carita, ya me hizo leña, mira. Bueno, punto menos por eso, Carlos. Bueno, ok. <ríe> um, 30 minutes, my friends. Tenemos 30 minutos and we finish, ok. Terminamos con nuestras vidas, ok. Um, here I have a worksheet. Tenemos acá y eso es bastante fácil, ok. You're going to pick one of these. Dianita, que está bien seria, me va a comenzar ahorita. Con uh, one of these, we have 18 sentences. So pick one and say it. Recuerden que van a agregar el ING, ¿verdad? Pero mm, le vamos a agregar algo más. Le vamos a agregar, we're going to add one of these, okay? You can say tomorrow, tonight. Day after tomorrow, como la película. Okay. Next Thursday, this week. Ten mm -hmm. me, me voy a, ya más o menos le capté la idea. Ya, 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 ya lo vas, ya vas agarrando el vacío. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I let you hear that. Ya ven, ya ven, mujeres de poca fe. Okay, so let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Sería uh, number, number three. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Number three. We yes. are, we are. Drawing. 
in the morning. Okay, we're drawing in the morning. Well, fine. Susie, que ya la agarró la onda, dice. <laughs> Number one. Uh, they are reading uh, tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Andrea, then Veronica. Um, we, we are right in the afternoon. Uh, what number? I, um, eight. Era eight. We are writing, writing. 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 Yes, right. Okay, thank you. Uh, Veronica, then Edgar. Juan is flying tonight. What number? Sorry. Pam. Okay, Pam is playing, playing. Mm -hmm. Tonight, perfect. Edgar, then Alex. Number and say the, the sentence. Okay, uh, Edgar, after Edgar, okay, let's go with, okay, Edgar, go ahead. Uh, solo al final, no sé qué se le va a agregar. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. sería, I, digamos, en la nueve, I, I walking. Okay, Edgar, creo que, mm, no puse tu atención en estabas. Cualquiera uh, de estas palabras. Ya. Ok, hoy sí. Ya. Yeah. Sí, hoy sí. Ya conté. Ok, uh, let's see. Ajá, uh, what no number? No enoje, teacher, pobre compu. No, no. <risa> Fíjense que, bueno, mejor ni les cuento. Ayer me hizo pedazos esta compu, creo. Ya. Yeah. La me de Belé por esta compu. Ok, Edgar. You need other. Yeah, I, I accept presents, I accept, I accept gifts, okay. And, okay, Edgar, what number? Uh, and number nine. Okay. Yeah, I, I walk in tonight. I walk in, yeah, okay, tonight, perfect. Uh, who's next, who's next? No, no, dije nadie, okay. Mercy and Carmen. She is eating tonight. Well, she is eating, eating. She is eating. Pueden decir eating, pero es mejor eating. Eating, mm -hmm. eating. tonight. Okay. Eh, normalmente cuando va una T de ahí, una ING, no una ING, cuando va ING siempre se convierte en R. Writing, eating, mm -hmm. transmitting. Entonces normalmente la, R, la T pasa a sonar como R. Ok, Carmen, and then Diego. Number three. My mother is cooking the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, number two. Number two, and then Alex. Mm -hmm. She's singing at the karaoke tonight. Wow, yes. <laughs> Let you hear that. Especially when they are drunk, they sing better. <laughs> Susie singing. Susie is singing with a couple of shots at karaoke. <laughs> uh, Paquita, the, la de Barrios, song. Quizá, uh, maybe, 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 maybe then a bottle. <laughs> okay. Vaya. Bueno. Ya quisiera cantar. Uh, quisiera escucharles cantar. Okay. Fine. Uh, Alex, are you ready? Ten. Ten. You are writing, writing tomorrow. Writing tomorrow. tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's go with Marlon and then Carito. Okay, um, number five. My father is driving tonight. Perfect. Carito, then Kevin. Number eight. Number eight. Mm -hmm. I am going to school tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. Good. Um, we go with um, Helen and Carla. Okay, Helen. Um, hay tiempo. Da. Otra mujer que me pide tiempo. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Let's see, Carla. Number four. Number four. It flee, flee. It is flying. 
It is flying. flying. Okay. Flying um, today. Today. Okay, Christian. No sé si ya pasaste, Christian. Creo que no. No. Okay, go ahead, my friend. Number 14. Number 14. I am, I am listening today. Ah, you are listening today. Good one. Okay, ¿quién me hace falta? ¿Quién no ha pasado? I think most of you. Creo que todos ya, todos ya pasamos solo Helen. Okay. Helen, ready. No, Ay, okay. Ay, se me trajo. Uh -huh. Ay. Um, he sleep. Okay, he is. He is sleep. Sleeping, sleeping. Sleeping. Okay. Next. Okay, next, uh, next weekend, digamos. Bien, ahora vamos, okay, vamos a hacer algo rápido. Quiero que me digan una de estas en negativo, cualquiera. Whatever. It can be the same that you selected before or, or any other, okay? So we're going to start with Marlon. And then Susi, que ya lo sé. <coughs> Negative. Okay, le vamos, eh, así como lo hicieron, solo que después del verbo to be, le vamos a poner not, okay? Okay, eh, with number five. Mm -hmm. Again. My father is driving to today, tonight. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, Carmen. Yes. Carmen. I can hear you. Ah, uh, excuse me. My mother isn't cooking. Mother isn't cooking. The okay. weekend. Perfect. Good. Susie, then Mercy. Nine, I, I am not walking tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Merci, then Diego. We are not riding tonight. Mm -hmm, nice. Diego, then Caro. Number 10. You are not riding tomorrow. Perfect. Uh, Caro, then Alex. 18. I am going not to a school today. I am not. I am I not, not going. Mm -hmm. going to a school today. Thank you. Alex, are you ready? I am I am not listening tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Uh, what about Andrea? Then Veronica. We aren't uh, reading. Siempre con ING, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. We aren't reading uh, in the afternoon. Perfect. Veronica, Diana. She is not eating to, today. Thank you. Diana, Kevin. Number one, they aren't reading today. Good. Kevin, Edgar. Number 18. I, I not go, going to school today. Yeah, I'm not going. Yes. Good. Uh, Edgar Christian. Uh, number three. We mm -hmm. aren't drawing uh, tonight. Good. Christian uh, Carla. Number. Bueno, sería. We aren't speaking Chinese. Chinese, okay. <laughs> and Carla Helen. Sería. I'm not flyer. Mm hmm. Okay, it is not tonight. flying mm -hmm. tonight. Okay, it is not flying tonight. Uh, Helen. Uh, he is not sleeping. Okay, he is not sleeping. Mm -hmm. Tonight, tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Creo que, como dicen, ya agarraron la onda. You got it. Okay, so, um, le doy nueve segundos. Kevin, te voy a preguntar a vos y después a Edgar. Traten de recordar algo de esto. Y esas miradas hacia abajo me parecen sospechosas. Ok. Como lo prometí. Kevin. ¿Qué se me hizo? At Jenny for coffee. What time? Um, at 11. 30. 
Bien. Ya ves que la agarra, agarra la onda. Good one. <risa> yes, that's the point. Eh, Edgar. Eh, 11 a.m. Wash the car. Ok. Me, me da risa cuando ven hacia abajo. ¿sí? Ok. <risa> Good. And, and Diego, tell me what you remember about the list or the day or the time. Yeah, at noon, walk the dog. Okay. Walk, but walk. it's not a good idea but at noon. Yes, get yes. A walk to the dog. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's what, very what, hot. What, yes. Not only for you, <laughs> for the dog as well. Poor Shadow. Poor, poor Shadow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Um, what about Carmen? And then Mercy. Have a lunch, a pizza hut. Have lunch, a pizza hut. Have ah, lunch, yes. a pizza hut. With, with? With Lisa. Yes, that's so nice. Merci, then Carito. Do homework. Uh -huh. At what time? Do you remember the time? Not. Mm, okay. I sing una canción de Michael Jackson. Do you remember the time? Okay, Marlon, then Diana. Uh, I just remember visit grandparents with mom and dad, I, I think, but I don't remember the time. And the day? I think it what is about... in the afternoon, I think, but I don't remember. I, I, the just, afternoon. I just memorized. Yes, the... it, it is. Actually, <laughs> it is in the afternoon. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Carito and Diana. Ah, Carito se me fue, ¿verdad? Oye, no, no me ha dicho. No, no, no. no. Oh. No, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, lunch, no, no. Meet the, the, Dobby, ¿cómo es? Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Dobby, como que es el de Harry Potter, no sé cómo se llama ese elfo. Bueno, no sé cómo se llama. Ok, Diana, and then we go with Christian. Saturday, the 11 and 30, meet, meet Jenny for coffee. Okay, Christian. Wash the car. What time? Uh, no remember. No remember. Okay. Uh, Helen. Helen está como que la pregunta. ¿Qué la dijeron? Da, la deja confiar. Okay. Miri for coffee. Do. Oh. Okay. Okay, Andrea. Andrea está conectando. Okay. Uh, the point is this. Vamos a hacer algo rápido. Here we have like agenda um, about activities uh, to be done on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, there is a specific time. So maybe you can do, uh, you can complete some sentences. For example, Susie is going to hey dresser at 10 a.m. Or when, when they see it también, or you can say, Susie is going to hair dresser on Saturday sencillo. Y estamos diciendo que eso va a pasar el sábado o va a pasar el domingo. Ok. I'm going to pick the, some of you. Um, we're going with Kevin and then Carla. Ok, Carla. Think about a sentence. Ok. Think of a sentence. Ok, Kevin, you go. You can, say, you can say, Kevin, any name of this group. Solo la, o sea, solo vamos a leer, a repetir. No, ya te voy a dar un ejemplo. Marlon, are you ready with your sentence? Okay. Uh, I think I am. Uh, uh, Carmen is, is, is washing the car. Or is going to wash the car. No, is washing, is washing. washing. Okay. Uh, Carmen, Carmen is washing the car on Sunday at 11 a.m. Perfect. Okay. Carla, then Kevin. Carla, you ready? Or you need time? Yes. Oh, pero decime cuál, si no te van a ganar como asiento de coste esto. What? ¿Cuál elegís? Ok, te voy a poner esta. Do, do. Esta te voy a dejar. Ok, Kevin, now are you ready? Then we go with Diego. Ok, creo que es... Carmen is walking with the dog today. Oh, 
okay, Carmen is walking the dog on? On Sunday, 12 p.m. Yes, that's it. Uh, yes, thank you. Diego, then Veronica. Okay, uh, Carmen and Edgar are meeting Jenny for coffee next Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Thank you. Fine. Carmen takes Okay, um, Veronica and Diana. Marlon go to Teen's birthday party, 7 p.m. on Saturday. Marlon Saturday, go, 7, Saturday, 7 p.m. Oh, Marlon is going. Mm -hmm. Going. Going, Marlon is going. Okay, Diana and Carmen. La famosa Carmencita. Susie rest on Sunday all day. Ok, Susi, pero no está ninguna de estas en el caso. Ok, Susi. Y Dicho su... es que yo le entendí que íbamos a crear una Ajá. nosotros. De estas que están acá. Ah. Por eso les puse un ejemplo. On okay. Saturday, on Sunday. Mm, mujeres despistadas. Okay. Entonces sería Susi, mi Ginny for coffee. Susi is meeting. On Saturday at 11. 30. Hola? Yes, 11.30. 11 30. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're about to finish. Ya vamos a terminar. Susie, are you ready with yours? Ah, Carmen, Carmen, Susie, and Mercy. Carmen, please. Okay. Uh, Mercy is having lunch, lunch at Pizza Hut with Marlon uh, on Saturday. 1 p.m. Ok, ya lo van a regañar a Marlon. Ok, uh, Susi, Mercy y Cristian. Ok, eh, Diego, on Saturday, eh, he is going to Times birthday party. Ok. Teams, perdón. Team, Timmy. Ok, thank you. Uh, who's next? Mercy and Cristian, right? Perdón, el nombre de quién tengo que mencionar, Pichu. El que te salga de tu corazón, hija. Cualquiera. Ah. Kevin. Okay. Uh, Kevin, he going. Hi, mm -hmm. hi. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Hi, la primera. Uh, hairdresser. Hairdresser. Hairdresser, Saturday, 10 a.m. Okay. Kevin is going. Kevin is going. Okay. Thank you. And Christian. Uh, sería, vamos. Helen is going. Visit grandpa, grandparents. Okay. Mom and dad and on Sunday uh, 2 p.m. Okay, thank you. Solo que aquí no es Carmen is going, es Carmen is visiting or visiting. Okay, but that's good. Thank you. And we're about to finish. Ya vamos a terminar. Uh, we have only 12 minutes, 12 minutes, and we finished. Okay. Um, uh, Carmen, are you ready with the, with your answer? Do you think parents are too permissive with their children Amen. nowadays? And then uh, after Carmen, we're having uh, Christian. Uh, in my opinion, yes. If in the past, the parents were more strict. Now the parents are more friends of the children. That's it, okay. Thank you, Carmen. Christian, and then we have Marlon. Yes, parents today are, are quiet, permissible, and before they were stricter. Okay, thank you. And so now they are permissive and before they were strict, right? So there's a big difference. Um, Marlon and then Veronica. Okay, uh, I think uh, yes, uh, parents uh, are too permissive. I think maybe it is because of our, our childhood. I think some sometimes uh, we want to give our children some things that we don't have mm -hmm. in the past in our childhood. Yes. Uh, non nonetheless, uh, we have to be careful um, for not badly raising our, our children. But okay. I think uh, we are, we are 
to permissive with, with, with our children. Okay, you, you uh, said uh, an important aspect that is uh, objects, present, okay? Things that we mm -hmm. didn't have in objects, the past. Objects, present, and um, per permission to- Permission to, going, to, 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 to go to any with, place. With, Yes, to play with their with their friends, with their friends, or taking courses, uh, sports, right? Courses, training, a, a lot of things. Uh, a lot of things. Yes. All of the, all of them are, are positive, but they uh, don't have to be for free. No tienen que ser solo así por así. Right? They have yes. to gain it. Tienen que ganarlo. Cada uno de esas cosas. Okay. I agree with you. Perfect. Perfect, my friend. Veronica, okay, and after Veronica, we're having Kevin. We don't want to complicate. Mm, hmm. <laughs> we don't want to complicate that. Good point. Ah, so we are permissive, Veronica. Okay, um, de hecho no se complicó tampoco, Veronica. <laughs> okay, Kevin, your turn. Okay, in, in my opinion, yes. Nowadays, parents are very ignorant with their, their children because they think that they are growing up or they are at some stage and they let what they to go by. Hmm. Yes, uh, ignorance is not knowing different things or knowing them and not doing anything about it, right? Puede ser que, que no sepan nada, pero hay muchos padres de familia que sí saben, but they don't do it. As Veronica said, they don't want to complicate. They don't want to do a, an extra effort. That is something that, that happens nowadays. So that's that's true. Okay, Kevin, Kevin. And Helen, are you ready, Helen? The parents uh, of Time for young, joven, no sé cómo se dice. Young, joven. Young. Young, young. young. Yeah. They are permit or consent, consentimiento, mucho consentimiento. Yes, willingness, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, non resident. Oh. Uh, anything for point, a lot of time of fun. Pasan mucho tiempo en el teléfono, los okay. padres que son jóvenes. Ok, they spend time on the phone. Ok, thank you, Helen. And now we go with um, Carito. Yes, Carito. Ok, definitely. Today parents allow their children too much. In fact, a children is giving a cell phone to calm down. Uh, moreover, uh, a younger is permitting go a uh, permitting to get home late at night. Hmm. Yes, good. Um, they play uh, at night, and well, they don't. Well, that's because sometimes we don't have established rules. Okay, rules are important. And thank you. And to finish, Mercy. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Now the parents are more affectionate. Mm -hmm. They try to tell why their children about what is the incorrect. Incorrect or wrong. Correct. They do not apply severe punishment before. Okay. They don't apply severe punishment as before. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. There are uh, two words that I want to share with you. Allow, allow significa permitir, okay? Uh, hay algunos locales que dicen uh, not animals o no pets allowed. Hay, hay, hay lugares donde dice no pets allowed significa que los, las mascotas no están permitidas. So allow, allow, es el verbo permitir. Okay. Cuando dicen be aware, ser consciente, estar consciente. I'm aware of, I'm aware that, ¿verdad? I'm aware significa estoy consciente. I'm aware that. For example, a person is saying, eh, Mercy, 
I think your attitude is negative. So you have to change some things that in your personality. And Mercy can say, may say, okay, thank you for telling me that. I'm aware that I am, I have some temperament that, that is difficult. Y así sucesivamente. Ya, entonces, I'm aware significa soy consciente de. Okay. Eso, pues, son bastante importantes esas, esas cuestiones. And yes, I think something that is more than important in our lives is discipline. And discipline, it is not just being rude or being straight or formal. No, but discipline is um, uh, like following the rules. If you follow the rules, uh, you're going to reach a lot of your objectives. But rules start from home. Okay. So that is sometimes we are like, we change our minds. Uh, we change our decisions. Cambiamos nuestras decisiones. If you if you say to a kid, okay, you're not. If you do this, you're not going to have this. But if the child uh, the child behaves bad, si el niño se porta mal, and even you give the things or you give permission, so that kid is not going. The message that the kid has is that whatever he does or she does, at the end, they are going to have it. O sea, no importa lo que hagan, al final saben que siempre lo van a obtener. So, to, to have the decision, uh, to, to, to have rules, all those aspects are important. Okay, three minutes. So, we're not having conversation because we don't have time. So, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia porque no alcanzamos ya para la otra actividad. Era corta, pero... Okay, we're going to finish until here. Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you. Andrea. I'm here. Thank you. Carmen. Present. Present. Thank you. Carolina. Present. Thank you. Christian. Present. Nice. And Alex. Present. Thank you. Diana. Okay, I think she's over there. Diego. Present. Thank you. Edgar. Present, yeah. teacher. Very good, Helen. Present. Carla. Present. Kevin. Present. Good. And Marlon. Present. Good. Susie. Okay, thank you, Diana. Sí, el internet creo que está, está inestable. But, sí, ya te puse aquí. Que te portas bien. Verónica. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, my friends, just one more thing. Solo una cosa más. Thank you for completing the homework and the midterm exam. Most of them have very good grade. Todos tienen una muy buena nota. Eh, creo que, que bas, van bastante bien. Solo Present. Ok, ok, Dianita. Yes. Yes, Dianita. Sí, tenemos problemas con el internet. Thank you, Diana. Um, when you ha, want to participate, cuando quieran participar o cualquier cosa, eh, o vayan a dar su opinión, siempre les agradezco que pues, tengan listas sus opiniones, ¿verdad? Si en algún dado caso les puedo ayudar, if I can help you with any vocabulary, of course, it's a pleasure to help. Es un placer ayudarles. Pero si ustedes tienen todo lo que van a decir de inglés, es mejor. Porque la clase fluye más, ¿verdad? Y ustedes, ¿verdad? Tienen como, tienen cierto nivel de fluidez. Eh, les agradezco siempre sus participaciones. Me gusta escuchar. I like to hear all your ideas. So, uh, let's keep on doing, let's keep on working in that way. Sigamos trabajando así. Nos quedan nueve clases. Después de esta. Así que ya estamos por finalizar. Ok. And so that's all, folks. Es todo, amigos. See you. Good night, more. teacher. Buenas noches. Okay. Bye. Good, Good night, night everybody. Ok. Let's see. Pues... Um. Carmen.
Okay, I'm waiting for the student that uh, I consider that she forgot uh, that she was supposed to be here for the for the 10 minute session. Okay, she's here. Hello, Carmen. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, you are escaping from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carmen. Tell me, uh, is there a topic that maybe you think it is kind of difficult? Um, something that you want to review? Algo que te gustaría revisar, reforzar? De algún tema, alguna conversación, vocabulario? Vocabulary. Realmente eh, no tengo identificado porque no, tiene, no, no me había fijado que no es tocada. Ah, ok, no problem. <risa> eh, a, a veces pasa, pero bien. Si quieres, mmm, tengamos una short conversation porque faltan un pocos minutos, ¿verdad? Y no hay problema, ¿verdad? <risa> Okay, um, Carmen, tell me, can you tell me more about your job, mm, so the things that you do or plans that you have for this year or for the next year? Because sometimes we have plans for, for our, our work or our family or friends. Uh, for this year of I I want I want mm -hmm. uh, work in the institution. ¿Cómo sería? Es que quisiera seguir trabajando en la institución que estoy ahora. I want to continue working. I want to continue in the institution. Uh, uh, in the in la in the era I, mm -hmm. I, I you work know. now que trabaja uh -huh. ah, you love okay and um, how much uh, time do you have working in that institution five years four years working or more the is is the new institution ah it's another institution a different one it's the new uh, What's they the name? Have one year. Ah, really? What's the name of that institution? Es el Instituto Administrador de Beneficios y Prestaciones de Veteranos y Excombatientes. Wow, very interesting. So you work with a lot of difficult cases. I think uh, you help a lot of people. You don't know yeah. personas, right? So yeah. that's interesting. 123 mil. ¿Cómo se dice? Wow, 123,000. Is the institution of of, oh, state. Oh, of, of, of the state? Yeah. So okay. Uh, so one year, un año. El tema no viene desde hace mucho. The, okay. the last time in the uh, presidential yeah. next the uh, ministry of gobernación. Okay. Mm, okay. Interesting. And next. Institution, autonoma institution. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it had it had like a process, okay. To to until now, hasta ahora, okay, good. So um, tell me, do you love your work? Amas tu trabajo? Te gusta? You like it? Eh, 
I like the, the work is the un nuevo reto. ¿Cómo ah, se dice? Ah, eso se dice así. Yeah. Eso se dice challenge. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Challenge. Eso sí significa reto. Challenge. Mm -hmm. So it's a new it's challenge. Because the map of cooperation, mm -hmm. the institute not exist. Ah, doesn't exist. Okay. So you are like creating that. Como que se está creando. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ay, wow. mm -hmm. Pero ver. Es como es nueva, no, no nos conocen. Entonces. Okay. Yes, I have never heard about it. Nunca la había escuchado. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, as, as you say, is, it's new. There is knocking on doors. Ah, okay. Knocking on the, doors. The cooperation. Okay. Yes, it's, it's a big challenge. It is something that goes step by step, paso a paso, right? And, but you have good expectations, tienen expectativas, ¿verdad? Right? Yeah. Okay, that's, a, that's good. That's a good challenge. And I hope uh, you, you have like, uh, not only good luck, no solo buena suerte, but also um, to reach your goals, que alcancen las metas rich goals that you have established and that's it because I uh, remember you are like uh, making the difference in this case because it is not uh, the same not lo mismo. you continue working with something that started with uh, different people eh, no es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Trabajar cuando ya se ha trabajado antes eso, or to start doing something when you start Education is special yes well <laughs> yes 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 i have seen news i have seen the on, on the internet the there is kind of a conflict because they have some demands i demand it, but bueno, I, I solicit this okay so uh, well of course uh, you are you want the best for them Quieren lo mejor para ellos, right there are people with a lot of need mm -hmm. there are people that they have lack of lacks lacks son carencias they lack for example lack of a salary carecen de salario lack of yeah. house housing carecen de seguro, I can imagine, lack of house, some of them, and, and so that's quite difficult, so you can't do miracles, no pueden hacer milagros, right, you have limitations, tienes muchas limitaciones, okay, okay. there are a lot of uh, limitations, but uh, with the things you have, with the sort uh, resource, with the resource that you have uh, you're trying to help people okay sí. mm -hmm. el, el presupuesto son 162 millones anuales but it is not enough right no es suficiente <laughs> right y para 123 123 yes no, yes. no it, it's... it has benefits the uh, the pension the Study by some of the uh, uh, house uh, projects. Mm -hmm. Projects of housing, the, para, para vivienda y todo eso. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, that, that is one of the most important things, at least in the big list, in the grand list, and the big list that you have of necessities. Okay, I think another day we're going to continue talking about it, Carmen. Otro día vamos a seguir hablando porque está bien interesante. Yeah, really interesting. A la orden, si conoce a alguien que necesite información de eso, a la orden. Thank you, Carmen. I worked for different NGOs. Yo he trabajado por diferentes ONGs. And I know how the projects are made. 
and the cooperants, cooperantes, yeah. they, they are like a different, well, it is a mystic, una mystica, grandissima, there are different areas, and well, I think uh, helping people is, is one of the most rewards work, verdad, de, de los trabajos más eh, como beneficiosos que, que, que pues te llenan, verdad, así que cualquier cosa, ahí te voy. Sanitarios. Yes, yes, of course. Sí, okay. andamos en busca de todos los que nos puedan ayudar. Tenemos gente con discapacidades, diferentes discapacidades. Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, Teletón, Medicare, eh, Visión Mundial. Uh -huh. No están, o sea, con lo que pueden y, y con lo que tienen, de pronto nos dice, eh, le podemos ver con esto, con lo otro. No, eh, claro, o claro. en locales con medicamentos. Claro, y de poco en poco, pues, eh, se va logrando ahí, ¿verdad? Ya no, te admiro, te admiro, I really, eh, well, that, that's an awesome job, un trabajo muy, muy, muy hermoso, muy, muy interesante, y pues, ánimo, ¿verdad? Eh, se nos está acabando el tiempo ya, Carmencita, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, thanks. so, no, thanks to me. me preparo. <laughs> yes, no problem, ok? So, see you tomorrow, have a good night. Pues, buenas noches, bye bye. Buenas noches, good night.